Good morning, welcome to another video. It's Monday morning after the bank holiday weekend and I am just getting ready for work. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea this morning. Normally I like a coffee in the morning, but I wanna buy one when I get to the office. It's kind of like my little treat to myself for going in there. You'll see the time is almost seven o'clock, which means I'm running a little bit late. I mean, it's not even to do with lateness. In London, it's mostly to do with how busy the tube is gonna be and if I'm gonna get a seat and all of that stuff. Um, but I think Mondays tend to be a little bit quieter, especially after bank holiday weekends or long weekends. I'm hoping the tube won't be too bad today. And I'm also gonna try and coincide it with getting the bus. Um, I'm just turning off the silly alarm. I don't know if, sorry about the kettle boiling. I don't know if any of you remember this from <laughs> Vlogmas, but we have one of these like um, carbon monoxide alarms. Oh my God. That's <laughs> we, it basically beeps every hour. Unless, no, it, it beats every 24 hours unless we press this button and it's literally indestructible. We have another carbon monoxide alarm in our bedroom, one that sits right beside the boiler. We're not in any danger, like no other alarms have been going off. This is just like an extra one that we've been trying to turn off or like get rid of because it's like a single use thing. We can't stop it beeping and it's been doing this for like a year. I'm not kidding. Like we've just been living with this thing beeping every 24 hours for a year. We can't get rid of it because if we try and put it in a bin or something, it keeps beeping like that. People are going to think it's something suspicious. We really need to, we put it in water. Matt one night went, like we couldn't get it to shut up. It used to beep more frequently than like once every 24 hours, but Matt put it in like a basin of water overnight and it still kept beeping. It's absolutely crazy, this thing. So we just live with it and live in fear of it and just like have to turn it off every, every 24 hours. It's not too bad. Usually Matt presses it before we go to bed, but. It's so obviously been beeping through the night now. Oh, I need to remember and get my lunch out because I made a sandwich last night. My fridge needs a clean, actually. It's something I didn't do in my spring clean. I woke up this morning. I was like, should I not go in today? I basically, I know I mention this all the time, but I'm in the office four days a week. And I was thinking, should I just have like today at home um, and kind of get on, make a head start on work and like, you know, Without the commute, you can kind of start a bit earlier and get more done. But I thought, no, it's good to go in on the first day and get it over with. Right, I'm going to go and get ready now in my bedroom. I'm just putting some loose waves through my hair. And then I'm going to do really light makeup. I've actually got Space NK order arriving tonight. I can't wait. All the, like, Cult Beauty, Space NK, loads of those kind of websites that sell gorgeous skincare and makeup had 20% off over the bank holiday weekend doing a little bit I put my moisturizer on I'm just gonna do a little bit of SPF I wanted to ask you guys if you have any podcast recommendations I'm an obsessive podcast listener listener like in the mornings on the commute I'll sometimes listen to a podcast if I'm on the way home from work if I'm just doing my makeup and I'm not watching YouTube then I'll always put in a podcast and listen um some podcasts that I love girls bathroom so so good this one's Sophia and Chinsia, who are, you've probably heard of them. They're two influencers, they're a bit younger than me, but they basically, well, they're not influencers, they're podcasters. Read out people's dilemmas. So people will write in with either like a girl talk issue or a boy talk issue. Those two just read them out and just like discuss what the people should do. And like, they're just really genuine, down to earth, funny girls. <laughs> and I really like them. And it comes out every Wednesday, so. It's only once a week, which is good. I mean, it's nice to have something to look forward to. I love Mel Robbins' podcast. I don't know. I feel like she's like a, a mentor slash mother sort of vibe. She's just got a really nice way about her, but she also has that like tough love slash like self-help mentor vibe going on where she'll talk about like five things you do you should do to start your day right and like how not to break a habit. Habit? <laughs> am I having a stroke? Why are my words always being like really messed up these days? five habits or what i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but her podcast is really good you should check it out if you haven't i also love table manners with jesse ware and her mum lenny i think that one's like one of my absolute favorites i just love their voices i find it so calming and love those two they basically have like dinner guest round and they chat to them and interview them but they it's all about food and cooking and then one final one i want to quickly talk about before i go off and do the rest of my makeup um, is the real, it's called Real Survival Stories. 
and I recommended this to so many people but I feel like not many people are big into podcasts like I feel like it, it is obviously mainstream and a lot of people do listen to them but like my family and stuff like nobody would nobody really takes me up on these um the real survival stories is basically about these horrendous like situations people find themselves in and they have to get themselves out and how they survived them so like everyone that's talking on this show has obviously survived these stories these incidents but like one of them was like this guy this is going to be repetitive to any of my friends or family who are watching this because i've talked about this so much but this guy found himself he was a tour guide on the Zamb zambezi river and he was doing like um he was doing like a guided tour in a kayak and he found himself like being eaten alive by a hippo and he had to get himself out of that situation um, there's some grizzly bear attack ones, there's ones where people have like found themselves in a plane crash in the middle of the desert, um, there's avalanches, like all sorts of different ones that are just honestly like amazing. I listen to them on the tube and I'm just sitting there, like the tube is obviously such a mundane part of my day-to-day -day life and I'm just sitting there kind of thinking I wish this journey's over. Whenever I have one of those podcasts in, I'm like, I feel like I'm there with the people. I'm on the mountain in an avalanche. And I'm like, it's so fascinating to listen to. The people are incredible. Some of the stories are just like, wow. And just people who are, tend to be like really passionate about like wildlife and have they have careers that are really, you know, important to them and passionate. And that's why they find themselves in these situations. Like the guy on the Zambezi River, he was really into conservation and like, yeah, protecting certain species of animals and had dedicated his whole life to it. And it's, just, it's interesting to listen to people who've got those kind of careers. Anyway, I am gonna shut up now and get my makeup done. I also wanted to mention, I think I mentioned it in a couple of previous vlogs, but I haven't edited stuff. So I'm like, what did I include? What did I not include? This foundation from Clarins is incredible. Would highly recommend. It's like the best foundation I've ever put on my skin. And I'm not exaggerating. I love it. So yeah, there's a little recommendation. I'm just gonna spray some of my Diptyque perfume. This one is Tam Do, Tam Dao. I don't know how to say it. It smells incredible. It's like my fancy one. I also have some others. Let me know if you want me to talk through them. I'm pretty much all ready to go. The bus is coming in a few minutes, but I thought I would quickly just show you my outfit before I go. Got on this long sleeve black polo neck. This is the kind of thing that is like, a staple in my wardrobe but I find you get the, you can pick these up really cheap from H&M or M&S or anywhere like that. It's high neck so you don't have to worry about makeup on your neck or your chest or your fake tan or anything and it's just like easy go-to and it just goes really well with like plain black trousers. <laughs> I'm quite fitted so I'm not wearing like a big baggy jumper or anything but it's just like yeah it covers my arms down to here and then yeah wearing it with black trousers that's my little pop socks that I've got on. I'm obviously going to chuck on my jacket and then I'll be wearing these ugly ASICs to the office until obviously I change into my shoes. But yeah, that is pretty much all I wear to the office. These sort of basic clothes because <laughs> it's easy and you don't have to think about it. You just shove it on. Pretty much ready to go. I am gonna nip out and get the bus now. I think I've timed it pretty well. I've got about four minutes until the bus comes. I'm probably not gonna be able to film very much today at all other than maybe my tuna sandwich if you're lucky enough to see that. But I will definitely show you, I'll chat to you after work and I'll show you what I make for dinner. I need to pick something up tonight. I think I might do some meatballs and spaghetti or something like that, just like an easy quick meal for dinner. Matt's not gonna be home until about eight o'clock tonight. So I might just make my dinner and then chat to you guys and like have a nice cozy evening. And then yeah, do it all again, get ready for it tomorrow. <laughs>
it's literally torrential rain again. I thought the start of spring was here. I'm just heading home from Sainsbury's and I picked up a few bits from the shop to make some nice dinner. So I'm gonna chat to you more in again because it's just torrential rain. Help. Also, I think my Space NK package has arrived. So I'm gonna show you everything, if it has. I hope it has. I'm just home. Wow, I feel like a drowned rat. It is so wet out there. I just went in via Sainsbury's on the way back and I picked up so many things, but I forgot that I was just walking home on my own and I got like cans of tomatoes. I got a bag of potatoes, like so many heavy things. And I can even fit them all in my bag. So I'm feeling a little bit bedraggled. I also think I just walked past a girl that I used to go to uni with. I'm pretty sure she might live around here. It's very weird. Anyway, I had a lovely day at work. Today was actually super busy, but it went so fast. That it's like my favorite kind of day. I got so much done and yeah, I'm just really glad that the day is over. I'm gonna go and get changed into my pajamas, obviously straight away as soon as I got home, as soon as I get home, that's like my daily ritual. Get straight into my pajamas and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I picked up from Sainsbury's. Did I say M&S earlier? I feel like I might have said M&S, but I'm, I meant Sainsbury's. Let's get back to the real world here. Okay, let me just show you quickly what I picked up from Sainsbury's. I feel like it's been about five minutes since I've done a food shop haul, so I thought I would just do another. For with my sandwiches that I'm going to be taking to work this week, I got some baked Walker sea salt crisp because I've been buying the McCoys from the vending machine at work and they're £1.20 a bag, which... I'm sorry, that's ridiculous if you ask me. I picked up some garlic bread for a pasta dish that we're probably gonna have later in the week, which is like a fennel sausage pasta that we really enjoy. It's a really easy recipe. It's just made with some like Sainsbury's sausages and then fennel seeds and like some onion garlic and bits like that. And I got some garlic bread for it. This isn't the best garlic bread you can buy as everyone probably has heard about 10 times. The best one is from Aldi, Aldi's own like original Aldi brand is the best. Got some salmon. There seemed to be some sort of shortage of fish today in Sainsbury's. I have no idea why, but everything was gone except for this brand, which I thought we would try. It's called Maui, 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 Scottish salmon. I've never heard of it before. Broccoli. Tonight's dinner is salmon and broccoli, by the way. King prawns for making my King prawn stew, which is like cannellini beans, king prawns, um, chili, garlic, oil, blah, 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 stock, all different things. And then you just like mix it all together, make it into like a little stew and then dip crusty bread in it. So we're going to have that later in the week. I picked up some Nairn's oat cakes because I was walking behind a girl today who had like one of those little lunch bags and you can see what was in it. And she had like her lunch, obviously, and she had a whole packet of these. And I just remembered, dad, if you're watching, how good are these? We always have them in my house at home and my dad eats like a whole packet in like five minutes. Then I got some farfel, farfel, farfel. Um, one of my favorite pastas, the bows. I do like the shape. Walker shortbread, love some shortbread with a cup of tea in the evening after dinner, delish. Oh, I just picked these up because they were standing beside me while I was queuing to leave. This is a big bag of potatoes that was weighing me down. But I got some potatoes for tonight's dinner. I'm going to do cute potatoes with the salmon and broccoli. Mayonnaise, because we need no mayonnaise. And then, oh, tampon. Two cans of tomatoes for making, what are these for actually? Oh, these are for the fennel sausage pasta. Um, one thing, by the way, if anyone learns anything from my videos is that good quality tomatoes even in the form of canned tomatoes, make the, a whole difference to pasta sauces, pastas, like any tomato addition, even pizza bases. If you use good quality tomatoes, you can really taste the difference. Then Matt's actually informed me that Tottenham are playing tonight. That's his football team, by the way. I don't want any divisive football people on here, but <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's fine to say. I'm sure it is, right? Football, you can support a football team. Football teams are very like divisive amongst people. Anyway, he supports Tottenham and Tottenham are playing football tonight and I picked up a can of Coke for him because he asked me to. He wants a Coke while he's watching it. Oh shit, I got zero sugar. Oh well, hopefully you like that. And I got myself a rhubarb press this is like one of my favorite fizzy drinks to have i'm not really into coke anymore i do like a diet coke every so often but 
I much prefer those rhubarb things. Yeah, I'm gonna get on it and start making the salmon now. And then that's it really. And we've got two episodes of Married at First Sight tonight. Matt has said if he can watch football at eight, then we can watch Married at First Sight in bed, which to be fair, I quite like going to bed quite early. So it'll be quite nice. Um, but yeah, we've got football first, which is going to be boring. I'll probably just edit some of my videos and tidy up and do some bits in the house. But Monday's been an okay day. Sounds good. Make sure you close that because that um thing was not closed. Is that you? No, it's you. There was loads of ice beans melted out. Really? Yeah. How's that? We can't. Because the ice is hard to explain. Dinner is ready. We've got our salmon with our cubed potatoes. This looks like loads of potatoes, but actually, it's not very many potatoes, and they just form a big pile. Got our cubed potatoes and then we've got some really nice chili, garlic and onion powder broccoli. It's going to be yummy. Onion powder? Yeah, chili and onion garlic powder broccoli. What, that garlic seasoning? Yeah, garlic seasoning. Do you want to do a taste test for it's the camera? Delicious. There's fresh chilies in that, so be careful. That's really getting me going. That's not for me. That's fine. Are you going to use the chili crisp? Yeah. Do you want to do a little taste test for the cam? One more though. What okay. bit first? Any. I'm not ready. Okay. The potatoes are so good. This doesn't go in the fridge, so does crispy. it? Um, I didn't put it in the fridge. Oh, you should. It says keep refrigerated. Um, That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, taste I mean, I test. I haven't got my sauces on. I'm just going to have to go. You're going to have to go, just for once. A bit of everything. Do people. Pardon? Do people. No. <laughs> Big up the fish. <laughs> Big up. <laughs> Big up Sainsbury's. Oh, what's so crispy? <laughs> the broccoli. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Really tasty. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Just before I go in for more, just need a bit of salt on the potatoes and a little bit of keeping mayo, I think. Okay. I'm going to go and enjoy this now too. So we will report back in a little while after we watch the all important Tottenham game. I'm just editing the vlog now and realise that we didn't come back to you after the Tottenham game. It was probably, I think it was like half 10 by the time the game actually finished. We didn't watch Married at First Sight in bed that night. We actually had like three episodes a night after to watch. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would end the vlog now. It's Sunday, the week after, and I'm just chilling. I've had such a nice chill day. I'm also vlogging today, so you'll see my day today. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you stuck around till now, then thank you very much because it's a long one. And I will see you for another video on Sunday. Bye.